Chelsea as a whole has been absolute dog shit. Pochettino is the right man to get those players to level, but it's going to take time. I don't think they have time. I think they've spent too much money. I don't think Todd Bowley and uh, you know the rest of the owners had any choice but to get rid of him. He's not a winner, but he's he's good at improving players. I still have a bit of hope. I'm not, I, I, like I said, it's only four games in. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Football Forecast. My name's Cullum, I'm joined by DJ and Antonio. Um, we're talking about the ongoing issues at Chelsea at the moment, four games in, uh, their worst start in nearly 30 years. DJ, do you think there's any silver lining to what's happening at the moment? <sighs> Enzo Fernandez is about the only good thing with that football club at the moment. Hmm. I think yeah. uh, when you watch Chelsea, he's the only one who seems to be pro open and making things happen. Uh, I suppose you've got a lot of young players there. Pochettino is the right man to get those players to level, but it's going to take time. I don't think they have time. I think they've spent too much money. They have to qualify Champions League this year. I think they're in huge trouble, to be honest. Who do you think's a fault? Do you think it's a top ball issue? It is a top ball issue, definitely. They've bought too many players. Like, 17 of the 25-man squad weren't here in December. There's too many players. They've gone through Tuchel, who was the best manager they've had for since Conte, definitely. Then, Joe so sacking him, replacement Potter was a big mistake. He didn't last very long either. Replaced him then with Lampard. Joe so trying to get the fans on side, that was a disaster. So, just too much change. Hmm. Now, it's, a, it's a young squad, so they could improve, but it's an awful lot of pressure on a squad that young. I suppose, DJ, you mentioned the name there and Graham Potter. Do you think, Antonio, that he should have been given a bit more time? Uh, Graham Potter? Yes. Uh, I don't know. That's, I don't think so, no. Um, I think as it went so badly wrong so quick, uh, I don't think Todd Bowley and uh, you know, the rest of the owners had any choice but to get rid of him. Um, so I would, I probably would have made the same decision as them. Uh, and look, Chelsea as a whole has been absolute dog shit like this whole year. Uh, I don't know what the stats are. I don't know how many wins we've we've had this year. It's absolute diabolical. I think it's six wins for the whole calendar year, twenty twenty three. That's shocking. I don't care how much money you spend or who you sell. Like it should be way better than that. That is that is brutal um, for a team like Chelsea. I know we're all used to winning as Chelsea fans, you know, week in, week out, but, you know, it's it's been nothing but, uh, you know, individual mistakes, uh, lineups have been wrong, um, certain players that, sh you know, were starting all the time shouldn't have been starting, and uh, again, that went down, you know, um, it was Graham Potter mostly, uh, but again, when Lampard came in, he'd done the same thing, now Pochettino was playing Colwell at left back against Nottingham Forest. Like why? He was he was absolutely brilliant for um for Brighton at centre back. So why why are we not playing him there? And Chilwell then playing left wing. That makes no sense. We have two wingers on the on the bench, Mudrick and uh, Madueke. So I just don't get some of the the decisions at, at the moment. But I, I you know it's I don't think it's all doom and gloom. I think there is a little bit of hope. Obviously, like I know people are gonna say we spent a lot of money. Um, but we have a bit of bad luck as well with injuries um, as well so look hopefully if we get some of those players back we can start to, to improve and we have a very very young squad so yeah I mean what else could, can, I, can I say <laughs> DJ is Pochettino the man? I think he's the man for the squad at the moment I don't think he's he's not a winner but he's, he's good at improving players uh, I've seen it with Spurs Deli Alley there's only probably good patches had in his whole career uh, Danny Rose as well, second he left, Danny Rose is left going way downhill. So that's what, that's what he does, he improves players, but I think with this, how young the squad is, it's an awful lot of players to improve. Do you think him, now I, I know it's not, it's probably not the easiest job in the world going into PSG when you have Messi, Neymar and Mbappe and they're not doing any tracking back, but do you think maybe him trying to deal with that will have any standing to what he's been doing at Chelsea at the moment and going forward? I think that was a just a terrible appointment anyway, because Pochettino's whole system is based on pressing and he's got three of the laziest footballers in Europe playing up front. Now they're brilliant players, but it was never going to work. I, I, don't, I don't see any similarities to Chelsea and PSG, to be honest. I don't think we have those types of players. 
I'd say we're more like a Spurs team when he when he joined. And, and hopefully if he can get us back into the top four. But I don't know, is he the right man to win trophies? Hmm. I suppose, I told you, we were talking <clears throat> before the season on James K Media Channel. Subscribe, bells, all that, all that jazz. But um, we were, there was a few of us saying that Chelsea maybe could break into the top five this season, but you were quite adamant that they wouldn't. Why, hmm. why is that? Well, solely because of how young the team is and how inexperienced literally every single player on that team is. Obviously, Bar uh, Thiago Silva, Rhys James and, and Chilwell. Everybody else is, you know, has hardly any experience at all, even in the Premier League. So that's why it didn't give me, you know, confidence that we would finish in any of the um, Champions League places. But just going back to the point of Pochettino with PSG, I don't think you could really judge a manager uh, uh Anyone who's managed PSG because I think I don't think they're a football club at all. PSG, they're they're more like a commercial, I don't know, uh, entity. Like they they just they don't really care about football. They they invite everybody else, all the kinds of celebrities to their games. So I wouldn't judge uh, Pochettino off, off the off the back of that job. But um, but yeah, like, just going back again to where Chelsea will finish. I still have a bit of hope. I'm not, I, I like I said, it's only four games in. Um, so we we just have to wait and see. Like I said, players to come back from uh, from injury, players have to get used to playing with each other. They haven't, haven't played with each other for long. Caicedo didn't have a preseason at all. Uh, Romelu Lavia didn't have a preseason. He's injured at the moment as well. You know, Chukameka was unbelievable when he started. And after he scored a goal against West Ham, he got injured as well. Like so, you still need a bit of, a bit of luck along the way. I know people are gonna say, "Oh, you spent a billion pounds. You can't be saying injury and stuff." But you know, it's it's true though. 